What is up, guys? It is Joe. We're back. We're talking all about the Cats today, specifically basketball. If you saw the thumbnail, we're going to talk about one player that I feel like his stock is rising at an astronomical level. And he might not be the first guy that comes to your mind when you think about some of these incredible portal additions from Jerome Tang in the squad. We're going to talk about a guy that I'm pretty high on this season, someone that I think can really make or break it for Kansas State basketball. But before I do get into that, let me remind you, if you like the channel, if you like the Cats, be sure and subscribe. It's quick. It maybe takes 15 seconds out of your day. It's a great way to show your support for the channel as we continue to talk all about the cats. Likes, comments, all of that are all helpful, but obviously subscribing is the big dog of the YouTube algorithm. But now that that's out of the way, let me tell you this. We're going to talk about my guy, Max Jones. Folks, this dude can ball. And this has been a growing thought process of where I've come from over the past couple of months, uh, maybe even past, past couple of weeks. Max Jones originally brought in from Cal State Fullerton. Uh, there's been a lot of hype around him, but obviously he wasn't, you know, a Coleman Hawkins ad. He wasn't a Doug McDaniel ad. You know, I think there's been the conversation of who starts at the two. Max Jones can play your two. He can play your three. Cal State Fullerton played the point guard position. I think K-State views him more as this off-ball two, but obviously he's been dominant with the basketball in his hands, and it's also a really good catch-and-shoot guy. So we're going to talk about Max Jones. And I have to tell you here, this is not just me that feels this way. I'm not going to take credit for being the first guy to say Max Jones is really good because I wasn't the first guy. There's a ton of different channels on YouTube. There's a ton of different creators and people that talk about basketball that know what they're talking about that have said, hey, this kid from Cal State Fullerton, keep an eye on him because the staff really, really loves him, and he's been a gem, so to speak. I've heard a lot of comparisons to kind of a Desi Sills type role for him, and honestly, I feel he's got a higher ceiling than Desi Sills. I know Desi's a fan favorite. This is not intended to smear him at all. I think he's a great basketball player, and I appreciate his season at Kansas State. Max Jones, I get the comparison. Hey, he's an athletic dude, six foot three, six foot four. So he's a little bit bigger and stronger than Desi was. And I know that he can do a lot of the same things Desi did. Uh, but the thing that I come back to, he feels more physically gifted than Desi Sills did. And he's been a little bit better with the basketball in his hands. I do feel like he has that, hey, I got to go take care of this. If I do the dirty work for my team, we're going to win games. Max Jones has that in common with Desi Sills, and you saw that in 2022. You're going to see that this season. Though I do feel that there is a little bit of a difference in their game. Max feels more like a bucket. Desi felt more like a, hey, we need somebody that's going to be incredibly consistent. He's going to make the right plays, the smart plays all the time. And I'm not saying that Max isn't that. I just feel like Max is a higher ceiling as a scorer. Like a guy that, hey, we need to put the basketball in the hole here. There's two and a half minutes left. We're down by six. Who's on the court? Max Jones is on the court. He's got a great shot. He's a lefty. Uh, Jerome Tang talks about it. Every lefty, for some reason, is an incredible shooter. Max Jones fits that category. But to me, I look at his play, and I'll toss some highlights up here in a second as I continue to talk about Max Jones, but he feels more than just a regular glue guy. And that's not to say that glue guys aren't important. Max Jones feels like a culture guy, which feels almost a step beyond a guy that keeps the locker room together. Max Jones feels like a dude that, hey, if you're a top basketball recruit and you go out there to watch Kansas State basketball, the identity, the passion, and the heart this kid plays with is going to rub off on you. You're going to see, oh my gosh, this is the dude. Coach Tank sits out there and he trusts his guys. He lets his guys get after it. That's the type of dude Max Jones is. I'm not going to sit here and say that he's going to be the top scorer on this team or that he's going to be you know, the, the best mismatch on this team by any means. I'm not going to say he's going to be that dude, but he feels like he has this high ceiling that... Not a lot of people have given him credit for leading into the season. Now I'm going to toss up the highlights here as I talk about Max Jones. And let me say this first, credit to the guys over at 3 Mall for sparking some of this conversation. Uh, they did some great interviews at the Players Classic with uh, Coach Yu. And then later they did an interview with Jeff Goodman, uh, Field of 68's Jeff Goodman, who's pretty close to the program. He's gotten to watch practice a couple times and obviously Coach Yu there every day. Both dudes talked about Max Jones. They both provided some really great comments about Max Jones and his upside. And that kind of sparked the idea of what the hype train has been for Max Jones. Last season at Fullerton, after starting his career at Division II Tampa, that was two seasons there, two seasons at Cal State Fullerton, Max Jones averaged 15.3 points, three rebounds, and 1.9 assists. He is a solid basketball player. I think he made a lot of the right plays, but Cal State Fullerton kind of needed him to be their entire offense, and that obviously does some things to the player where it's like, hey, he's a score-first mentality. You don't necessarily have to be the scorer at Kansas State, though I feel like Max Jones not having to force it is going to be so much bigger for his confidence because you're going to see a cut down in some of those turnovers. You'll see some of the right decisions made that maybe not have been made in the past. In his two seasons at Fullerton, he was a 39% shooter from three. That's 39.5 his freshman year and then 38.5 his sophomore year. Excuse me, not sophomore year. That's first two years of the program. That would be junior and senior year. He's a fifth-year senior this year. Now, in the portal, because this is something that people talk about is how good is your portal class? How is everybody getting there? Whatever the case is. 
Max Jones was listed as the 365th ranked player in the entire portal and the 82nd ranked player at his position. He was a three-star addition. And if you go back and look at Kansas State's portal class, which, you know, I don't know that many people give them credit for the Max Jones addition. I mean, obviously they have now. You go back and you look through it. There's some huge names in the class. You've got Coleman Hawkins. You've got Doug McDaniel. A chore chore is a big deal. But guys like Max Jones, CJ Jones kind of slipped through the cracks a little bit. And the fact that a dude that wasn't necessarily prioritizes, hey, this is going to be your best player. This is the target number one in the transfer portal. The fact that that guy is shining among these dudes like Coleman Hawkins, like Doug McDaniel, that is such a great thing to see. And it bodes really well for this program. Now, I've talked about the Cats portal class a lot. It's not going to be my first time by any stretch of the imagination. But you look through this, the guys they brought in, because this is a big deal. You look through the list. Obviously, you have a guy like Coleman Hawkins. That's your primary guy. He was the 21st ranked player in the transfer portal. I kind of think that's a little bit BS there, but you know, it is what it is. So Coleman Hawkins was up there. He's a four-star prospect, a chore, chore, four-star, Ugana Yenso, four-star, Brennan Housen, four-star. And I don't think that people gave him the credit they deserved until now. Now, Coach Yu, unprompted when asked by the three mall guys, and once again, that's Derek Young, Coleman Beck, and uh, John Kurtz, the three of them do a great job over there. Be sure and check the videos out. Coach Yu sat down and talked with him at the Players Classic for Wildcat NIL. And this is what he said. Super quick break. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, 63% of the people watching this video right now are currently not subscribed to the YouTube channel. And feel free absolutely to ignore this and skip this, whatever the case is. But those of you that are watching right now and are unsubscribed, be sure and consider hitting that subscribe button if you love Kansas State, if you appreciate the channel. It's a great way to support me as I continue to grow on this journey. And it's also incredible to bring more K-State fans in like yourself on a consistent basis to see more of my K-State content. Once again, if you're in that 63% or if you're in the alternative in the 37%, I love and appreciate you. Back to the cats. They're finishing up the interview and they're talking about different guys. They're talking about the superstar names that we've seen, some of the coaching habits of Jerome Tang. He said this before the interview cuts out. One guy I want to talk about that we haven't talked about is Max. He's a guy that's really turned the corner. Another guy that can make shots, a fifth-year senior, overachiever who just works every day. I think he's going to make a huge jump for us. We watched film on him against Nebraska in which he had 30 points and in some other games we really liked him a lot. Once we talked to him on the phone, we realized he's a really high-character guy that's serious about his craft and he embraces the idea of getting better every day. We love those guys that are addicted to the game. He's been a joy to coach so far. That's awesome. And in that game against Nebraska, he did put up 30, and there's a pretty good clip in this highlight package that you should have seen or are going to see here soon. Uh, it's Fred Hoiberg. Ball gets kicked out under the Nebraska basket, uh, and basically Fullerton tosses at the top of the key. Max Jones, you know, five steps from the three-point line, catches it, casually pulls up from 40 and splashes it. In the background, you see Fred Hoiberg screaming at his team with both hands in the air, saying, close out on this dude. Do not let him get an open shot. That's the type of ability you have, and that was against the D1 program like Nebraska. So something awesome to see for Max Jones is confidence that he's able to play at this level. Now here's what Jeff Goodman said. Once again, this is another three-mile interview. You can go check it out. Jeff Goodman, a guy that's been around a lot of college basketball players, a lot of college basketball coaches, and a lot of teams. He went to watch practice, and obviously he talked about Doug McDaniel kind of being Kansas State's best player. He talked about Coleman shaking some of the injury rust off and getting back after it. But this is what he said about Max Jones. The guy that impressed me the most that I didn't know anything about was Max Jones. I didn't know anything about it. Very, very little. Two years at Tampa, two years at Cal State Fullerton. They told me when I talked to their staff this summer that he came in a little overweight and didn't look good. They thought about it like, did we make a mistake here? He was awesome. He makes shots. He plays hard. He's just one of those guys that I think is going to be hard to take out of the lineup because he's going to be a culture guy that can plug in. A lot of talk always seems to come back to this, and this is something that I think about with some of these guys, C.J. Jones, Max Jones, Brendan Haas, and how do these guys fit into the team? Because on paper, you're going to see Doug McDaniel at the one, one of like four guys at the two. Max Jones is probably my pick the more I think about it. Could be David Castillo, could be whoever. Could be Brendan Haas for the shooting aspect. Your three is going to be Coleman Hawkins, your four, Chore, Chore, and then your five is either going to be Dave or it's going to be Ugo. Not enough has talked about who's going to be on the court when the game's over or when the game's coming down in the final minutes. And I think a lot of people say, well, I don't think it'll be Coleman at the three in that time. You're going to see an area where you're going to need shooters. I would assume Brendan Hawson's on the court late. I would assume you're going to have Doug McDaniel on the court late. You're going to have Max Jones late. We'll see what happens there. I don't know the entirety. I don't want to specify too much because I don't know the case. Literally today, before I started recording this video, shout out to Derek Young once again. Uh, tweeted about the three representatives for Kansas State at the Big 12 Basketball Media Days. It's Coleman Hawkins, no-brainer. David Gasson, your veteran, he's been there last season, he knows the process. And Max Jones, that's your third guy selected. You get Coleman Hawkins, David Gasson, and Max Jones. That tells you a lot about what the program feels about him. They don't send guys out there they don't expect to play. 
That's the case. Max Jones is going to be a big deal, and I'm so pumped he's getting his recognition that he deserves. Now, will this amount to anything in the regular season? I'm not going to say it's going to be a 20-point season, 10 rebounds, 10. I'm not going to say any of that. What I will say is his impact will be noted. He can feel like a high-energy guy that can come in either off the bench or in the starting lineup. And I think that the way I feel about this team, Game 1 starting lineup is going to be drastically different than Game 5s, Game 10s, Game 15s, Game 20s, the NCAA tournament. Every week's going to change depending on the roster, depending on the team you're playing. We have the size that we can match up with whoever, and we have the shooters that we can go small and play, play against whoever. Max Jones is a great addition, and the staff absolutely deserves their flowers for it. So shout out Max Jones is kind of the premise of this video, which is talking about our guy Max Jones. A big deal for the Kansas State basketball program as we continue to move forward this offseason. We're officially in basketball month. I know football is the primary breadwinner right now, but basketball soon. I think it's October 29th is that uh, preseason, not preseason, but scrimmage game against Fort Hayes State, and I will be here to watch it and overreact to it accordingly. So, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying the basketball season and the football season as we get closer each and every day to that beautiful time when we get both of our favorite sports hitting at the same time in the same month. It's a great day to be a Wildcat. As always, I appreciate you watching. Go Cats!